Is it true that the Ten Commandments were laser etched from UFOs? I don't know. I wasn't there. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Okay. Um, but those were general guidelines that were used used in every um, uh, budgeting society, burgeoning society, or slave race. Those those were rules and guidelines that the Anunnaki used um, all over the galaxy for their slave workers. Uh, they had rules. So, you know, the Ten Commandments um, were guidelines of, of social order um, that were used everywhere. Thou shall have no false gods before me. Um, that was a very distinct and specific order from uh, Anu, who was the king of the Anunnaki. So everyone then knew who he was. Whether they saw him or not, they were fully aware that he was the father of Enlil and Enki, etc., etc., etc. So again, let's keep it in perspective that the creator of all the universes and all dimensions take time to scribble with a laser 10 laws on a little piece of rock here on earth. No, he did not. Probably not what you wanted to hear. I think it's what people need to hear, Alex, really. You know, Remember the there, God too the much specialness about the whole God business, and like they're no more gods than we are. In fact, they're probably lesser gods than we are, from what I can understand these days. So uh, it doesn't take it doesn't take courage, and it doesn't take strength to suppress races that are less evolved from you. It doesn't take courage it doesn't take benevolence to be cruel to those of lesser rank you see then that's that's the whole contradiction in in the holy book i am a loving and forgiving god who is going to throw you into an abyss forever to be tortured for making a mistake that really pisses me off. So where's the disconnect? Okay, where's the disconnect on that? If you can figure that out, you let me know, okay? Go ahead, JP. He's just like a bad and grumpy dad, you know. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> he's been at the mine all week and uh, you know, he just wants a bit of peace. And oh, dad, tell us a story. Me